What is going on, everyone? Jim here from RC After Dark, hanging out in the garage tonight, working on this new little jewel that I uh, just picked up recently. Found it on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, my brother found this on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, managed to get it for $175, ready to run. Uh, was told that it was gently used. Uh, many thanks there, Ian, for finding this little jewel on Facebook. No Much bad. appreciated. Uh, so recently, everybody, are just looking at the truck, working on the truck. Uh, no headlights. Once again, everyone, here it is, 2019. Uh, TRX 4 is coming with full headlight array. TF2, you know, came out way back in the day, and that came with a full headlight setup on it. So, I mean, what is the deal with Vatera uh, Blazer? Uh, dual headlights, turn signals, no taillights, no mirrors. I put a set of mirrors on here, put a driver inside the truck. Uh, mirrors are actually off of a... Uh, Gen 8 Scout down there, so a little custom fitting, put some mirrors on it, put our own lights in it and whatnot. Uh, but once again, uh, 2019, uh, new vehicles, this came out in 2017, I want to say, uh, maybe earlier, don't quote me on that. But once again, no lights on the vehicle whatsoever. Uh, you know, light mounting points on the back here on their roll bar, they had some little uh, plastic tabs on the back here where you could drill holes and mount lights if you wanted to. Uh, but no headlights, <laughs> not even any headlight buckets on this model. Uh, ironically, though, the Ford model, which is, you know, virtually identical truck, just a different body on it, uh, it does have headlight buckets. So why does the Chevy not have them and the Ford does? Uh, once again, no taillights or anything like that. Um, so I checked out a video the other day on uh, YouTube. I can't remember the guy's name. I will tag it in this video. Uh, but he did a little video on putting his own headlights in a truck. Uh, listed, you know, showed a package of Vatera headlight buckets and uh, like they were meant for this vehicle. It actually said K10 on the packaging, but you know, I can't find them anywhere online, so maybe they're not available anymore. But nevertheless, uh, taking it upon myself to put some lights on this vehicle, um, I've already gone ahead and put some uh, cheap off road lights here on the roof. Lens covers pop off on them. Uh, went ahead and put some here in the bumper. Uh, very difficult to do on the bumper. The bumper is heavily gusseted on the back half of the bumper So I literally had to drill big fat screw holes all the way up through all the gusseting uh, Just up to that bottom layer of plastic so I can get the screws in uh, to attach all these headlights in place So uh, I have some off-road lights on it For on the uh, roof and on the front and also went ahead and uh, installed two off-road lights on the back and just popped the lenses out painted them red with the sharpie uh, painted the bulbs red with the sharpie so we have some taillights on the vehicle as well. Flipped upside down, so pretty much out of the way of being bashed or anything like that or taking any kind of damage. Back to our headlights, everyone. Uh, I have the grill out of the truck currently. And that is the thing with the truck as well. Uh, when you're doing this little project, the actual chrome grill has two plastic tabs attached to the back that actually kind of overlap the headlights just a little bit. So in this process, you're gonna have to cut those tabs off. Uh, but before you do that, you're gonna wanna find center on your hood Come down here, find center on the very front of the truck, and right in the middle of that Chevy bow tie, there is a very small hole. Uh, you're able to take a little scratch all, poke through that, into that hole, uh, drill this out to the right size. And here's a peek at our grill, everybody. There is that little hole that I was talking about right back there. I actually used an automotive interior screw, such as this one right here, to tap that hole, making sure not to go all the way through and punching out the other side. Uh, after putting a little bit of a thread on it, I came back here with a small hacksaw and cut this down, leaving only about uh, only about two threads on the very bottom of the screw, which we're not going to be able to focus in on. Oh, there we go. Left about two threads left on that screw, uh, so i got to reattach this to the front of the truck. So looking at our grill, once again, here are our fake headlights. <laughs> Solid chrome plastic there. Bit of a bummer once again. Uh, but mental note, a little bit of an oval, not exactly round. Uh, what I had planned was to use some of these little off-road lights right here. And they have these little lens covers that snap onto the off-road lights. And they had this little uh, recess going around the edge that is for that lens to snap onto. My idea was to find center on here as best I can, marked it with a center punch, drilled it with a hole, or drilled it, with, drilled it out with the drill there, and then kind of looked at it to make sure it was still centered. <laughs> Uh, so my plan was to just drill it out large enough that we can uh, countersink this right into the back of that grill. And so I basically started out with my pilot hole, I moved on to a step bit, 
drilled it out to all the way out to three quarters of an inch. Oops, we got it upside down there. Get the focus in. All the way out to the very end there, three quarters of an inch. And this is our end result right there. And then the headlight is able to snap right into that back, right into the back of here. And I'm actually going to mount it in upside down like this, so there's no extra crap hanging down. Let's go ahead and try to pop this in place here. As best I can, I'm on camera looking at this, so... There we go. Shuffling around in my hands. So there we are. We have it popped in place. Not exactly centered just yet. Looking through the camera. Trying to line up our screw holes with the grill. Pretty much the center of the grill, everybody. If you look at the bow tie right here, this last little row just below it is the center of the headlight. You draw a line straight across that, and that'll bring you right out to the center of the headlight. So that's what you want to be lined up with when you're drilling your hole there. And that is what we're looking at for an end result. And I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, use a little bit of glue around the back edge of this. Nothing really too thick. Um, possibly some shoe goo or something like that around that. But I also have to drill out the body as well uh, so that this can fit through the body. So probably drill out the hole on the body just a little bit fatter so we can compensate for the whole light itself and any extra glue that's going to be in there. So here we are looking back at the body, everybody. Once again, grill here in hand. Uh, those hold down brackets were right here, which were just to the left of the center of the headlight. So that hole is not going to be right. We're going to have to make a new hole a little bit off to the side. So I'm going to remount the grill with an open hole on the one side, screw it down to the truck, and uh, mark my hole out and start drilling it out with the grill in place. All right, guys. Now another little mental note here. The grill is on a slight bend. We have a slight curve going on with the grill. I don't know if we can see that on the camera. So we have a slight bend on the grill. So I'm making sure to drill on a little bit of an angle when I come through. So I'm drilling through the front of the grill right now. I'm holding the grill on a slight angle. That way when I put that headlight in there, it's going to be shining straight. And I'm stopping every couple steps just to make sure that the plastic still lines up on either side that there's still a same even amount of gap on either side and I can actually see that I'm kind of wandering down towards the bottom a little bit getting a little bit off center so I'm going to try to bring this back up a little bit by putting the bit at the bottom of the hole just applying some pressure and shaving out a little bit of plastic I'm just eyeballing it right now with my own eye. See if we're getting closer to being back on center. And now my battery's dead. All right, new battery in the drill here. <laughs> uh, looking at everything, it seems like it's pretty close uh, looking with my naked eye here. So I'm gonna continue to drill through, once again, holding everything on a slight angle. Uh, Trying to make sure that it looks somewhat straight. Not really going too fast with my steps once again. Little bits of chrome flying off at the same time. So we just went through it. All right, and there's our end result right there. We have both our holes popped out. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on the truck right now and uh, finish drilling out the holes to go through the body itself. We've got the grill back on the truck, everyone. Just used a little pick such as this. Basically found center once again this one line right here in the middle of the bow tie, just below center of the bow tie, straight across, that is center as far as being up and down. Then it's just a matter of left to right finding center. So I basically just eyeballed where that is. 
on either side. Once again, I'm going to drill this hole out slightly larger than this other hole. This one is three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to drill this one out a little bit larger. That way we can fit that whole headlight assembly through the body. Uh, so when I'm attaching everything back together here, um, the glue <laughs> that I use will be going through the body and hopefully uh, making contact with the grill a little bit at the same time. Well, we've got the body all drilled out, our grill reattached. Took the grill off to drill our holes out on the body. Reattached it once, yeah, a little bit off, so I had to go back in there and drill and uh, make sure that it was all good. So, next step, everyone, just to install our cheap little uh, headlight bezels in here. Once again, I'm going to mount these in upside down. So this mounting bracket is uh, sitting on the top. We're just going to be sitting in just like that. So we'll go ahead here and pop these in place and see what they look like. Uh, before we apply any glue, just wanted to rough fit it, make sure that everything is looking good. And I drilled these other holes out just a little bit fatter. So I'm probably going to come in here with some kind of glue, either hot glue or possibly some shoe glue. And uh, re just seal right around that headlight just to make sure that that is held in place and not going anywhere. And then we'll uh, go ahead and wire this back up into the system. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to go ahead and wire your own lights. I already went ahead and once again have my tail lights wired up on the truck. Uh, wires ran through the chassis here, coming out here. Same with the roll bar lights right there. Wires coming down either side of the roll bar between the bed and then attaching to the tail lights. And then I'm just going to run two LEDs off my headlights, uh, probably down the side, attach back into the same loop and run everything off of one switch. Looking back here at our truck, three channel receiver in a vehicle already. So just took the cover off the back of the receiver uh, box here, ran another six inch extension into that. Uh, that way we have power. Ran that up to a basic on off switch right there. And that comes out to here. And that actually has a little splitter on it there, a little two-way splitter. Well, a two-way splitter runs up to the three fog lights across the front. So that is wired in place all the time on the truck. Going into the splitter, other part plugs into the lights that are on the body itself. And then we just have our little on off switch right here. Uh, easy access to get to for toggling those on and off. Now one mental note, if anybody's wondering about these lights, once again on the bumper, uh, back of the bumper, heavily gusseted, <laughs> very difficult uh, to screw into here. So uh, I basically marked out where they needed to be on the bumper, drilled through from the top down, all the way straight on down uh, with this, the same size bit that I was going to be using uh, for running the screw into the lights there basically. So uh, use a small bit to drill all the way down through and then use a larger bit to come back up through that hole uh, stopping before I got up to this top layer of plastic. Uh, that way I could feed the screw in through the bottom, through all those layers, and then still be able to bite on this last layer to hold our headlights in place. So before we get our grill attached here, everybody, with our headlights in place, uh, decided to put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back after the grill just for some added insurance to hold everything together after we're all done. Uh, not too sure <laughs> how well I trust this little uh, threaded hole here as being the only spot to hold the grill in place. Uh, trucks go through a lot of uh, tumbles and rollovers and whatnot, so um, don't want to risk ripping this off. Uh, the reason I decided to put some double-sided tape along the bottom half of the grill is I'm not too sure how the tolerances are on the body. Um, if I put some double-sided tape up here on the top half of the grill, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit too thick, and then the grill is going to stick out away from the body. Body has this little indentation right along here that we really can't pick up on camera. A little bit of an indentation right here, uh, relatively solid, bottom half being relatively flexible. Figured if we put some double-sided tape on the bottom, get pause the camera here real quick maybe and uh, get this in place. All right, so having that properly lined up, having that double-sided tape on the bottom, putting our screw in, clamping this together. We're not going to see this gap on the bottom like we would on the top. And we don't have anything on the top once we have it all down. No gap there, so that'll work out pretty good. Just leaving that on the bottom. Once again, drill these holes out a little bit larger. That way, uh, when we go to glue our headlight buckets in place, uh, hopefully any uh, overlapping glue is going to uh, reach down and grab a hold of our grill as well and also help hold it in place for some added insurance. All right, everybody, a little bit on the fence as to what kind of glue I wanted to use for this project. I was thinking about using hot glue, but yeah, not very good for duration, I don't think so, and flexibility. I uh, decided to go with a little bit of the old-fashioned shoe goo 
and put a little dab around there and just use my finger to smear it around the edge of the light on both headlights. So got it all gabbed up there, making sure not to get it in the hole or in a little hold down hole, just staying right around the edge of the light. So we're just going to let that set up and uh, once she's ready to go, we're going to continue on with the project. And we're back here. It's been about an hour or so. This is getting to the point where it's uh, dry enough that I can touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of these LEDs that came with that kit with those little uh, off-road lights. We're going to go ahead and get these installed real quick. Uh, run our wires up to the side of the body here somehow. And then uh, solder it into this connector right here. That way it's attached to the body lights. Alright, so I just finished up mounting the passenger side bulb hold down in place here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get the driver's side done on film. If it really matters, I'm sure you've all hooked these little guys up before. Using a uh, magnetized the uh, head of my screwdriver here, which is handy so you're not losing anything. Alright, so we've got those installed right there. Just a matter of uh, taping down our wires. Trying to get those out of the way. I'm going to run a tape line probably down the side of the body somewhere. Back around it so I can tie it into here. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying in these wires and we'll uh, see what we get here in a couple seconds. We've got our lights in. I have them wired up. If the wires ran, use a little bit of duct tape here. Just basically tore it in half. And just tore a little thin strip right on down the line. Just using little strips. And then ran the wires right in between the hood and the grill, right where the body contour is. So I ran it right along that flat spot. And then right up the side of the body here on the inner fender between the hood and the fender on another flat spot, right up to the middle of the driver's side door. So the next thing, that, next thing that I need to do here is to cut off this connector, solder it into here, and then we'll be all wired up with our lights on the body. I'm going to go ahead here and uh, plug it into this little battery pack here, a little test pack that I have, and uh, just to make sure that everything is still working. Better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got to uh, make sure we're going in the right polarity here. Alright, just seen her light up. So that's a good sign. Go ahead here and get this thing soldered in, get the body on the truck, and see what she looks like. All right, everybody, here we go. We got our lights in. Glue is still drying, but it's good enough for the moment. Wires are all ran. Everything's all soldered. It's about uh, 524 in the morning. <laughs> well, let's plug this baby in and see what she's looking like. There you have it, everybody. We've got the body sitting on the truck. Haven't turned it on quite yet. Just taking a peek at it real quick, seeing how natural it actually looks. It actually looks pretty natural, and it looks like those lights were uh, supposed to be there. Once again, just using some uh, cheap off-road lights. These were ordered off of the Wish app. Um, our brother has this downloaded on his phone, so he actually ordered these lights. I want to say he paid like uh, right around $8 for four of these lights. Uh, sizes vary. Uh, these little Aquila lights here are slightly smaller diameter uh, than these lights. So sizes vary. Uh, these happen to be three-quarter inch diameter was a perfect size for uh, those little for fitting them into the grill there but uh, once again size is very I use a step bit so uh, only reason I found out it was three quarters of an inch diameter <laughs> was because I just kept drilling down and down and down with the step bit until I hit that sweet spot so uh, size is very uh, make sure you don't over drill measure uh, twice cut once so let's get our lights on here and see what she looks like and there you have it everyone all lit up like a Christmas tree I left the uh, Gila light covers on just because I wanted to maintain focus on the headlights themselves. You can imagine if those light covers were off, it would definitely be uh, kicking out some light. Definitely doing a lot better than it was in its stock form, that is for darn sure. And there, once again, same off-road lights on the back. Uh, Pop the lenses out from the, in from the inside out with the screwdriver very gently. Colored the inside of the lenses red with a red Sharpie and then colored the bulbs red, and then uh, reinstalled them. Yeah, so once again, kind of a bummer that uh, Viterra hasn't stepped up to the times and included LEDs in their trucks. Uh, I mean, it wasn't, uh, they are nice enough at least to leave these little tabs 
back here on the back of the roll cage and once again right across the top of the roll bar so there's tabs for mounting lights they just you know didn't give you any <laughs> and the ford version of this truck uh same style truck with the ford body on it actually has uh headlight buckets in it so uh very odd that they didn't put them on the chevy so that's gonna do it everyone very much appreciate it for y'all sticking around and watching the video uh hopefully it's helpful and we'll see you on the next one thanks again